Hello, and welcome to another edition of ThinkIllustrator.com. In today's lesson, I'd like to share my concept of working proficiently with Illustrator. I've been using this program and teaching it since 1987, 23 years. So I know the shortcuts, I know the techniques are going to save you time, make money, and also how to do things the correct way. So first of all, I'm going to change my workspace right now as the essential workspace. That doesn't help me. I'm going to basically save my palettes for palettes I like to use on a regular basis. Keep my palettes close to the pasteboard to save time. So under the window menu, I have a workspace called YouTube Type. And it brings up my bread and butter palettes I need to create documents. Notice my layer palette. I always call my first layer design. Very important step here. Design layers where I design objects. Once the objects are designed and okay, I put them into their appropriate layer. It's a good production technique. You should always get in the habit of making changes, saving changes. Now, a few things before we get started here. Anytime you receive the option key, it's an option key from Macintosh. And key for Macintosh is the control key for Windows. All key for Windows is the option key. Command key for Windows is the control key. So get that into your head. First of all, to get started, I always have my rulers up. Command key R brings up rulers, control R for Windows. I always put some kind of guide this way, I have a perspective to draw from. So I'm going to show you some very basic concepts. So now, from a design standpoint, there's only two shapes in the world that exist. There is a straight line and there's a curve. There's nothing else more. A straight line and a curve. The pen tool is the most important tool because that you can create a straight lines and curves. So, I'm going to share with you the concepts of M for the rectangle. I'm going to create a perfect rectangle by holding down the shift key. Okay. Then L key creates an oval. I'm going to hold down the shift key to create a perfect oval. These two shapes are actually identical. Now, before we move forward, I always get started with Illustrator by selecting the A tool. The A tool selects a direct selection tool. The direct selection tool is the most powerful tool because you can directly select the object, the path, or multiple objects by holding down the Alt key. So once I initialize the A tool, which is the direct selection tool, you'll never see me select it again. So as an example, I'm going to select this and delete. So I initialize the A tool. Now I'm going to hit the M tool for the rectangle tool. Shift key, rectangle. Now I want to select the rectangle. You'll never see me go up here to select the tool. Simply hold down the command key. The command key turns any tool into the last selection tool you selected. The last selection tool you selected. So command key select selection tool. So I can select this path and move it. Command Z does. I select these two paths and move it. Command Z does. So good have to get into hold down command key to make a selection tool. Command key mouse. Command key mouse. Control key of course on back into on Windows will select the selection tool. So command key on Mac is the control key on Windows. Okay, shift key, L, L for oval or ellipse tool, and create an oval. So these two shapes are identical. The only thing that separates the two is that this has curvature path, this has not angle path. This shape is this shape. To demonstrate that, they both have a center point. They both have four paths. They both have four anchor points. I'm going to hit Shift C. Shift C selects the Convert Anchor Point tool. Shift C. So to demonstrate that these two objects are exactly the same, I'm going to select the object and click right here. Click again. Click again. Here we have Yankee Stadium, Yankee Stadium, and click again. So this object is this object. Of course, the only thing that's different is that this is rotated, this is not. So to absorb that concept, it's very important to move forward with Illustrator. Now, also understand the difference between selecting the path and selecting the anchor point. Selecting the path, delete key, deletes the path. Command Z does. 
select path deletes the path. Selecting the anchor point selects the anchor point to the next path. Selecting the path, command and key select, selects the anchor point to the next path. Delete key deletes that entire path plus anchor points. Well, understand the difference between selecting a path and selecting anchor points. So if I was to select this anchor point and delete, I would have a triangle. Select this anchor point and delete, I have a triangle. But if I select the path, I simply have an open path. There's two different types of paths. There's open path and a closed path. This an example of an open path. This example open path. So now I can join an open path to another open path or I can join a path to itself. Now, Illustrator 101, anything in Illustrator is object. Anything about the object that you select is under the object menu, the object menu, because this is an object. I'm gonna select these two anchor points, go to the object menu based, based on these choices, these choices, path, path, join, Join the path. Join the path of the object. You understand the thinking here? Want to get you to think the way Illustrator thinks. Most other instructors go to that menu and get totally confused. Okay, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there, we're gonna go there. And your head spins. Understand how Illustrator thinks based on what you select, based on what you select. So I'm gonna select these two paths and think about the object, object menu, based on these choices, based on these choices, object path, path join, which happens to be command J. Command J joins the path. So I'll hit my preferences. This is another technique I want to share with you. Command K or control K on Windows. I'm gonna set my keyboard increments to a quarter inch, which is 18 points. 18 points is a quarter inch. That means whenever I hit my keyboard up, or it's gonna move it, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. Quarter inch to the left, quarter inch to the right, quarter inch down because Command K set my preferences to a quarter inch. So I'm going to select this anchor point, hold down the shift key, select this anchor point. So this anchor point selected, shift key, this anchor point selected. Move the anchor points up. Now I can select the two anchor points and join Command J. Object path, path. Joint vocabulary, get this into your thinking. Command J. So, therefore, if I select this path and delete it, I have an open path. But if I select this anchor point, it's going to select the anchor point to the path. The anchor point to the path. So, I would get this shape. So, if I select the anchor point, move the arrow keys down, I can now join this anchor point. Shift key, command shift, command key shift to this anchor point and command J.